Have you ever seen a fighter jet that was designed not just for its own country, but specifically to be sold to others? Welcome to the mysterious world of the Shenyang J-31, also known as the FC-31 Jer Falcon, China's second fifth generation stealth jet, and arguably one of the most misunderstood military aircraft of our time. But what is it really? Is it just a poor man's F-35, or is it China's quiet attempt to rewrite the future of air dominance? Let's dive into the secrets, the controversies, and the possibilities of the J-31, a jet that many have seen, but few truly understand. The J-31 first broke cover in 2012, not through an official unveiling, but via leaked images on Chinese social media, at first. Many thought it was just a prototype mock-up or a static display model. But soon after, it flew, and the world took. Notice. A sleek, twin-engine stealth aircraft that looked like something between the F-20 to Raptor and the F-35. Lightning II, and the comparisons didn't stop there. Analysts immediately pointed out uncanny similarities to the F-35, from the nose shape. To the canopy, the twin-tail fins to the wing angles, speculation exploded. Had China copied the F-35 design? Was this the result of alleged cyber espionage? Were Chinese hackers stole terabytes of classified data on U.S. aircraft? Possibly. But design is only the surface. You can copy the look of an iPhone, but can you copy iOS, the chip, the sensors, and the ecosystem? The real test of the J-31 lies not in how it looks, but how it performs. Originally developed by the Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, the J-31 was not intended as a direct competitor to the J-20, China's primary stealth fighter. Instead, it was envisioned as a more compact, more affordable stealth platform, one that could serve China's navy and be exported to allied nations. Here's where it gets interesting. The J-31 is a fighter built for the world market. Unlike the U.S., which restricts the export of its most advanced fighters, China is offering the FC-31 to countries who are looking for a fifth-gen jet but can't buy the F-35, either due to cost, politics, or sanctions. Countries like Pakistan, Iran, Egypt, and some African states have shown interest. Though no official contracts have been signed, yet, now let's talk specs. The J-31 is around 17 meters long, with an 11.5 meter wingspan. It has internal weapons bays to maintain its stealth profile and can carry up to 8,000 kilograms of armament, including air-to-air -air missiles, guided bombs, and potentially anti-ship weapons, its range, roughly 1,000 to 100 kilometers in combat mode. A decent reach for both air superiority and strike missions, but it's not all smooth flying. The J-31's biggest hurdle lies in its engine. Early prototypes used the Russian RD-93, the same engine found in the JF-17. While reliable, it lacks the thrust and stealth performance required for a true fifth-gen fighter. China has since been developing the WS-13 and WS-19 indigenous engines designed to give the FC-31 Super Cruise capability and reduce radar and infrared signatures. Still, engine development remains China's Achilles heel in aerospace without a powerful, stealth-optimized engine. The FC-31 can't compete head-on with the F-35 or even the Rafale or Eurofighter in some respects. Now here's another plot twist. The J-31 is being developed in a naval variant, often referred to as the J-35, designed to operate from China's aircraft carriers, unlike the bulky J-15, which is based on the Russian Su-33. The J-31 offers stealth, lighter weight, and digital integration, all crucial for future carrier-based warfare if it succeeds. This jet could become the backbone of China's naval air wing, giving it stealth. Coverage across the Indo-Pacific dot from a technology perspective. The J-31 is expected to feature AESA Radar Advanced, Electronic Warfare System Shellman Mounted Display Stealth Coatings and even potential for drone teaming operations. But all that remains largely theoretical for now, because here's the truth. As of today, the J-31 is still not in operational service. Flight tests continue. Prototypes have evolved, and we've seen design improvements, but no full-scale deployment dot so. What does that mean? It means the J-31 is still a work in progress, but also a powerful symbol. A symbol of China's determination to break into a market long dominated by the West. A warning to rivals that stealth no longer belongs to a select few and a promise. Two allies that there's now an alternative to the Western warplane monopoly. The future of the Shenyang J-31 isn't written yet. It could become a cost-effective stealth export success, or it could remain an ambitious. High-tech prototype with limited adoption, but one thing's for sure. 
The J-31 isn't just another aircraft dot, it's a question mark in the skies, a challenge to convention. And possibly, the start of a new chapter in global air power politics. What do you think? Is the J-31 a serious threat to the F-35's dominance, or just a shadow trying to look like a storm? Let us know in the comments, hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the most controversial jets on Earth. Thanks for watching, see you in the skies.